It is called the Copper Queen shaft. It was one of the first shaft, shafts cut in Bisbee. Before it fall off the tracks, it would tilt back and you lose half your ore, then you have to go down and clean the tracks out. So they began to use it mainly for moving equipment in and out of the mines. It feeds between each level of the mine. There are 29 major mines in Bisbee. If you put those mines together in the end, they will stretch more than 2,200 miles. Wow. And what's up there? We put the rope in 36 steps into an area that's called a scope. And a scope is simply defined as an area that has been or is being mined out. Now, this particular scope is the first one we cut in Bisbee. There are thousands of scopes throughout Bisbee. This is the first, it is also the smallest. You want to go ahead and follow me upstairs and I'm going to explain what they're all about. Right above this wooden structure, now that structure is called a square set. That is used. A miner is working in soft or frayed ground, which is broken ground. He'll blow out a hole, blast out a hole, set that up in it, and he'll work out of that. He has laggings, which is wood. Uh, beams come out the side, and he works underneath those. All this out the other side, he also has another set of laggings. He'll then blast out another. You see a wooden, I'm sorry, you'll see a tongue goes back. We call them cross cuts. We go back to the surface, that's 400 feet back. That is the original cut into this mountain. The leading edge of that is where they found two metals. They found copper and they found silver. Well, copper you can't follow because copper does not have a vein to it, where silver does. So they knew copper was in the mountain, they had no idea where. 